weight loss and a Invita Health and Wellness, where you can feel your best both inside and out. Invita isn't your typical med spa. They're a multi-specialty medical spa and wellness center serving St. Louis and its surrounding areas. They have ketamine for mental health and pain, IV therapy, medical weight loss, and aesthetics treatments. As board-certified anesthesia providers, Invita can ensure that their advanced treatments are provided safely with minimal to no pain. So let Invita take care of you. Call 314-394-0900. 950 to book an appointment or online at vitahealthandwellness.com. Well, good morning. It is Monday, and normally we're at the studio, but boy, did things change around. We're just going to give you all the realness of it all. I, it looked like we took a power hit at the station, uh, the studio, and then we were switching everything around, and then my guest had to cancel. So I was like, well, I'll tell you what, everybody, stay home. I'm going to run the show from my house because my guest today is actually in South Carolina, my first guest. And then my second guest, hopefully they're going to be rescheduled to next Monday, Brock and Brittany Wilson, who own Ford Performance. They couldn't do today, so we scrambled. And I just love the fact that no matter where we are, I could be all around the world and we could come to you live on a beautiful software system that just goes onto my computer. I mean, that's that's the real side of life, isn't it all? So welcome in. If you're new to the show or if you've been around since we launched back on March 1st, welcome aboard. We've got a great show on tap for you. It's the Real Monica Adams Show, and you just heard our friends at Invita Health and Wellness at 333 South Kirkwood Road. I want you to head in. Actually, Jim and I both getting our labs done and checking on testosterone levels, estrogen levels, progesterone levels, all those things very, very soon with Dr. Sarah Franco and her staff. I know a lot of you uh, go to her maybe from the medical spa standpoint. We've talked about ketamine in the past. At the same time, we're going to talk about something that a lot of you may have heard about in Hollywood. Maybe you've even seen the commercials for Ozempic or some agglutide, other diabetic drugs, which should be interesting. We could talk to um, Dr. Willie and ask him about this as well. A lot of people were jumping on board for the weight loss aspect, but then a lot of the diabetes patients said, well, wait a minute, now the drug is not available to us. That's a very interesting, almost controversial subject. But we are going to talk to Dr. Sarah very soon with a guest. Mary Ellen is a patient of hers. And she literally said she tried everything and then found out her A1C numbers. She looked at all that and said, well, that's what's holding me back. And so she is under Dr. Sarah's care. Uh, they are going through semaglutide and so that's what's going to be coming up for you in about a week with Dr. Sarah and Invita Health and Wellness. For all of you signing on, let me say good morning real quick. Kathleen Morris, Donna Baker, Kathy Kilo Peterson, how are you? Kathy Holden Reed, Pamela Miller, Rose, all of you that are signing on and all of you to come. Let me know if you have any questions about taking care of our elderly. That's what we're going to discuss in the first half hour. And then boy, do I have a load of things to tell you about with regards to the November 4th event. I cannot believe the pack that I got yesterday that we will be auctioning off. Remember, all of the proceeds going to Yuppie Puppies Forever Rescue. I'm super thrilled for that. Anything that I say throughout the show for the next couple of weeks, Tina Adams and Brian Adams, if you see either one of their names in the moderation, that's because my brother and sister-in-law are helping out while... Michelle is out jet sitting in Malta. Can you believe that? She's with her mother in Malta. So yes. Uh, so you'll see Tina and Brian helping things out. And thank you so much to both of them. I also a great weekend. On Friday, we were thrilled to be a part of the Friends of St. Louis University Liver Center, raising some big money at their first annual Diamonds Gala. Thank you, Lisa Duff and all of the staff and the doctors, the incredible doctors with uh, St. Louis University, Wash U, everybody collaborating and advancing, advancing research for liver disease. So thank you again for having me as your MC. Thrilled yesterday to go to the Formula One race party that was put on by Holman Motor Cars out at a hangar in Chesterfield. And the friends we were with, you ready for this? They bought a jet. I'm not kidding. We all were sitting there. It's a runway show with all these high-end cars. And then all of a sudden they've got these yachts and jets. And I was like, did anybody actually really buy one of these things that's here? Sure enough. Yep. 
they bought the jet. So congratulations. You know who you are. Congratulations to you and anybody else that was at that event. It was a lot of fun. So thank you to Holman Motor Cars. It was a, it was a big weekend. Again, I hope you had a good one, whatever you did. I hope you got out and enjoyed the weather because it was gorgeous. Leona and Anne, have a great day. Sean Fitzgerald, hello to you. All right, we're going to take a quick break. My guest today, because it's Monday, Medical Monday, normally we're in studio with him, but he is in South Carolina, Dr. Charles Willie with Innovare Healthcare and Innovare Health Advocates. The advocate is the biggest part that I love. Do you have a doctor that takes care of you from making sure that they're there for you every step of the way? If not... This is the time for you to start thinking, do I need to change my doctor? Because I've been talking and listening to Monica on with Dr. Willie and my doctor's not that way. So maybe you want to change. If you don't know about Innovare, let's tell you a little bit more. And then Medical Monday, ask the doctor with your questions about caring for our elderly. Think about this. When's the last time you called your doctor at two o'clock in the morning and he actually answered? Well, at Innovare Health Advocates, their patients are special. Their doctors, nurse practitioners, their care team care deeply about your health, your family, your work, and even your pet. Their clinicians are accessible and they lead your care in and out of the hospital. In fact, Dr. Charles Willie offers his cell phone number to his patients to ensure they can intervene early in your illness. They can provide Provide care above and beyond, offering lab, x-ray, echocardiogram, and other treatments in their office. Innovare Health Advocates with five locations on both sides of the river. Check them out, InnovareHealth.com. Well, there you go. You heard a little bit about Innovare, but that's just a brush stroke. So let me bring my guest on. Again, normally in studio with us, but here's another little jet setter. <laughs> Dr. Charles Willie, how are you? You're in South Carolina, right? I'm marvelous, darling. <laughs> uh, what area of uh, South Carolina are you in? It's uh, uh, The nearest town is called Beaufort. Beaufort. It's, yeah. It's, uh, most people know Hilton Head. There's a bay. North uh-huh. of Hilton Head, it's on the other side of that. Uh, well, I, I hope that you're actually getting a chance to take a little t- a downtime and enjoy. Is is this a vacation spot you go to? It is. Okay, good. Good. Because you go, go, go. For those that haven't been on with us uh, in the last few weeks, Dr. Willie, tell us a little about, again, 40 years in the medical industry, right? Yeah, this is my 40, 40th year as a practicing internist, finally getting good at it. <laughs> Practice <laughs> makes hang of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun, more yeah. useful than ever. So Good. enjoy it. Um, and so instead of retiring, I'd take in a little more time off. So that's why I'm in South Carolina. Well, I'm happy. I mean, I've known you for a long, long time. For those of you that don't know our connection, I used to work for Dr. Willie um, with Essa Essence Healthcare. We actually ran senior programs all over. And then we started a program at Friendship Village and still are so super close with a lot of those patients. And it was beautiful to watch, really, to give them faith in themselves, Dr. Willie, and hope and possibilities when we walked in and we ran that program for about three and a half years. But when I first met a lot of them, and they ran the ages of you know about 70 all the way to 95 it was interesting to watch a lot of it you know dr willie wanted me to come in and get them moving you're very big on a lot of the triangle of life that we talk about you know the mental side physical side to get them moving and um, you know there's aches and pains and joint issues and then a little bit you know deeper into the medical side but um the depression would set in right dr willie because they're not the age they thought they were but they still want to be so active yeah, a bit of a chicken and egg problem. So, so, so I'm an old school internist, see my hospital patients, you know, um, it's, it might be a little in humble to call myself master diagnostician, but, but I really can play that role now. Mm-hmm. Um, but with the, I noticed with the population of seniors, and by the way, um, a, a, a physician's practice often ages with him. So I'm effectively a geriatrician now. The practice is open to all. I've got two young docs, but um, but I've noticed that a whole bunch of what's um, happening to these folks is not really about the calendar, what the calendar says about their age, but more about what they're doing day in and day out. And the ones who thrive are active, mm-hmm. uh, uh, social, they have purpose, they're engaged. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And if if they lose that, you know, the the kids move away, the grandkids move away, the they sit they 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 have sedentary activity. Some of them are can remain intellectually engaged at home, you know, especially with the internet and and their reading. But if they like one one common thing I see is uh, they'll sit at the computer, or spend right. a lot of time at the computer, or sitting in a chair reading, or sitting in a chair even chatting. All all good things except for they're sitting in a chair with the legs hanging down. Mm-hmm. They get swelling. Uh, if it can get bad, it stretch the skin, break the skin, weep, weep uh, fluid onto the floor, mm-hmm. and uh, they think it's heart failure, but it's really inactivities. So, well, you know, th- so that's one thing. Um, we're going to then- we're going to show a slide here for a second. When, when you talk about being active, are you worried about this? Because it says, well, maybe not that physically active. Like they just want to go all out. It's kind of like the you know the person sitting on the couch and they're the weekend warrior, thinking they can go run a marathon. Yeah, well, this is a yeah. It, activity is so important. This is a a card we made to uh, emphasize the point. Um, it's true. So, uh, I mean, you, you got it's to- really important to be active and yeah. and trying to engage people. So one of my one of the things I have to uh, let's see. I woke up at age thirty five, having been a doctor for five or six years in practice. You know what? I have to become a salesperson. I have to convince my patients to do what I'm recommending. Mm-hmm. Um, so this was an attempt at that because uh, because activity is so important. And you mentioned depression. Yes. Um, it's a chicken and egg problem. Depression can lead to under motivation, fatigue, um, and cause people to sit and be less active, but vice versa, being less active does, does that as well. Physical activity increases blood flow to the brain. It, it awakens you. It exposes you to, to, uh, the outdoors and others. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's, it's really invigorating and it's helpful, uh, helpful to everything we do. So I'll have a patient with a weak heart. And a uh, story I tell is, uh, oh, 30 years ago, 84-year-old fella had a heart attack and a bypass surgery, and his ejection fraction was 20%. Now, normal is 55. That's of the blood that comes into the heart, how much is ejected with each stroke. So he finishes his bypass surgery. The echocardiogram right after says EF 25, 20%. Um, <clears throat> So we recommended activity. He came back a year later, said, Doc, you'd be proud of me. I put a new roof on my house. I said, hey, uh, I need a new roof. Who'd you use? He said, oh, no, I did it myself. Oh, my 84 God. year old uh, put a new roof on. I mean, that's real physical labor. I think he I think he broke the pallets of shingles, which weigh 50 pounds. You've seen him put them on their shoulder, climb up the ladder. Yep. Uh, maybe they do that with machines now. But this fellow put all those shingles up there, nailed them and, and did it himself. I, I repeated his his his. Uh, echocardiogram, his ejection fraction was up to 30%. So he gradually got himself in shape, gradually improved the efficiency of his heart muscle, right? Yet when you're getting in shape for a, you know, younger people for a, you're going to do something crazy, like run a marathon. <laughs> crazy. You, you do that gradually, right? But mm-hmm. you're not only conditioning your skeletal muscles, mm-hmm. your arms and legs, but your heart. And so he conditioned his heart and got it better. And so it's a great testimony um, about that. Well, we're showing the slide that you gave us of Don't You Dare, which is literally standing up. You talked about this gentleman going up a ladder, going up to the roof. But even those small steps, which you see here in this picture, it is if they're by themselves, I mean, they have a little step stool. You hear of all these falls that they have. And that's the biggest thing that we all get scared about as our parents or our grandparents get older yeah. is how frail they are. And when they fall, everyone thinks, oh, my gosh, this is it. That, that's what happens. It took one fall. Yeah, I want them to be active, but be safe. And, uh, you know, the biggest problem in that picture there is uh, that's a rickety little ladder. That is not a good ladder. Mm -hmm. And hopefully my fellow who put the roof on had a great ladder. Uh, Another story, uh, when I was a very young doctor, my uh, my dad was uh, up on the back of his ranch home in South County trying to paint the eaves. So it's two stories up. This is a this is a two bit ladder that my mother bought on sale. And it was, I think it was even assembled backwards, cheap aluminum, narrow. So I took that ladder out, out, out back and put it between two trees and I, it was cheap enough I could bend it so he could never use it again. Stay the heck off of that ladder, dad. If yeah. I had a nickel for every time a, uh, a ladder broke, broke a hip, uh, I might, I might be retired by now. Well, I guess so as, be as safe. kids. Be safe, be active, but be safe. 
But as kids, don't we have to have that responsibility that we need to go over, check on mom and dad, check on the things that they might be using, figure that if they're living alone, that maybe we need to check the step stools. We need to make sure that these things are safe for them. Yeah, that's 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 a great uh, reminder, uh, Monica. Healthcare is a team sport. I'm always looking for help. Mm -hmm. uh, not a day goes by I don't say thank God for daughters. Uh, <laughs> And daughter-in-laws. And, <laughs> and daughter-in-laws and, yeah. and sometimes sons. But if, you know, more, more often the daughters are, uh, are uh, engaged, but sons too. So help, you bet. Um, and, you know, seniors want to stay independent. Uh, some understand they can't be. Others are a little too proud about it and won't ask for help. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I, I encourage the the sons and daughters of my patients to come with them to their visits. Uh, so I have more points of input. So they remember what we're teaching uh, and they can reinforce it and they can be my spies and snitches as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're just tuning in, let me reintroduce my guest again, Dr. Charles Willey with Innovare Health Advocates. And somebody asked in the comments, Dr. Willey, where are you located? Uh, well, we have uh, five offices all around the city, and uh, I'm spending most time at our at our Creve Core office at this time, mm -hmm. though I I, uh, free, I come to every office except for the uh, St. Charles County office. That's where Dr. Fernando is the anchor. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, yep. So you have two, don't you have two partners? Yes. And in, a new partner started in January, uh, Dr. Marquino, mm -hmm. and he's stationed at our Kennerly South County office across the street from uh, St. Anthony's uh, Mercy South and in our Festus office, also across the street from Mercy Hospital in Festus. And Dr. Willie is actually affiliated with multiple hospitals. Did you say 11? Oh, yeah. I'm on staff at 11 hospitals. That's uh, my colleagues think I'm that's a psychiatric problem, <laughs> but you almost but, have to clone yourself. <laughs> well, here's, here's how it works, Monica. The, the, uh, if you take great care of folks, they don't need the hospital much. And that's how we can be on that many hospitals, but we're able to show up when our patients need us, when they're in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And so, so that's why 11 hospitals. And, uh, it was, it was nine until Dr. Fernando came and okay. now it's 11. And it's easier now that I have two young partners who are, and we're, you know, divvying up the, the attention. Um, Rena just asked the same person who asked where you're located. Are you accepting new patients? Well, definitely. Most yes. definitely. So the greatest way to find out, Brian actually just dropped it in the comments, Rena and everybody else, in v, uh, the uh, InnovareHealth.com is the website. Um, there's a phone number on there also. But the easiest way, if somebody's wanting to have you as their doctor, uh, what's the process to go through? Uh, just call and make an appointment. Okay. It's, it's that easy. Yeah. And is, is it hard to get into you? I think that's a question they would yeah. probably ask. Um. <sighs> We we um, are we position our office work so that we can see people who need to be seen when they need to be seen. Mm -hmm. So if if a new patient calls and and we do a, the staff does a little uh, triage call if it's urgent, we'll I'll see them tomorrow. Okay. Uh, well, if you want to see me to see you tomorrow, you have to come to South Carolina. But <laughs> I was just going to say, how long are you in South Carolina? <laughs> <laughs> but ordinarily, I'm in St. Louis, and you know we'll see you as, as soon as we need. Okay. So and if, then if it's uh, if it's not urgent, and uh, but usually a you know a week within the week or two, if it's not urgent as a new patient. And Donna just asked uh, Medicare Essence question mark. Yeah, take uh, you know. Let's see, I guess I can't say that we're in all the Medicare Advantage plans, but Essence is definitely the favorite. Mm -hmm. It's it's the plan that treats. It's got the richest benefit in town. It has had so for almost 20 years since its inception. Mm -hmm. I just I actually was the founding chief executive of Essence and designed it to have the best benefit in town, so our patients could re afford what we recommend. Mm -hmm. Also designed it um, so doctors could slow down and get it right spend the time it takes to advocate health mm -hmm. and, and really uh, get people healthy. Key things there are, you know, spend the time when we're with them to listen, to understand, um, make sure they know uh, we're available. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, I, 
I've come to say this, it's, it, it, it occurred to me, I treat my patients like I was the doctor in their family. Right. And then uh, that's the standard we're holding to. So uh, for those of you who don't have a doctor in the family, if there is one or a nurse in the family probably gets this too. Somebody gets sick. Who do they call? They call you. Right. And, and they call you at any time of day, you know, 2 a.m. or Christmas. And that's just fine for me. All right. Because I because health health care is uh, not really schedulable or illness is not schedulable. Mm-hmm. And the other key thing is to intervene early. You got to you got to get out of illness really early. It makes such a big difference. Yeah. Don't you see? I mean, obviously, in 40 years, you've probably got story after story after story of how many people will dismiss something that is a very dangerous outcome, but if you could get to it earlier, you can help them. And so, you know, I I had a person yesterday and she's like, oh, pass this along to Dr. Willie. She's like, you know, it was scary. They were away. That's another whole thing is they're not in town where they live, but they were away. And her husband said that his neck was bothering him. His shoulders were, were bothering him. He just felt a little off. And then all of a sudden his arm started bothering him. And she's like, that's it. We're going straight into the hospital. Again, they were in Colorado and come to find out he had, um, you know, he was, he was at a teaching hospital. So they were a little scared with that. They ended up transferring him, but sure enough, he had blockage in his heart. And I think too many times people will dismiss that, especially men. Don't you think? Um, it can be. Yes. Uh, and maybe he, maybe he had some warning symptoms that he didn't notice mm-hmm. or was curious about. So if we're, if we make ourselves a really available for people to ask those questions, then, then we can get at them early. Right. Yeah. And, and so, if, if my patients are uh, out of town, mm-hmm. look what we're doing here. You right. know, I can interview well. I can, you know, get part of the physical, the visual part of the physical exam. So we can go a long way with today's technology uh, in taking care of people no matter where they are. I've, I've taken calls from patients in Europe, and et cetera, certainly Florida. Well, Dr. Willie, a lot of people are, you know, a little scared. We, we talked, we touched on it a little bit, and I'm sure we'll talk a lot more as we get more and more information about uh, AI or artificial intelligence. But you just mentioned the technology aspect. Don't you agree from both a physician and your nurse practitioners and your nurses uh, how much this has helped to be able to just pop on and be able to assure someone or talk to them by, by Zoom, by, you know, just opening up and do like a teledoc? Uh, yes. Yeah, we, we take advantage of it whenever we can. It's not quite as good as being in person, but but it's better than, than waiting too long. And so we, we do uh, uh, take advantage of it whenever whenever uh, we need and, and are able. You bet. Um, Donna just said, thank you, doctor. And she loves Essence, which is awesome. Yeah, that's actually how Dr. Willie and I uh, met. It was through Essence and Essa. Um, Yeah, he's going to try to... Actually, I'm going to take a break because as he changes his lighting around, we are going to talk about also, and if you have any questions, by the way, just drop them into the comments as I take this break, uh, incontinence, which is something a lot of people don't talk about, but this is what we want you to be discussing so that we can help you, help your parents, help your grandparents, et cetera. More with Dr. Charles Willie and Innovare Health Advocates when we return. It's the icing on the cake. The final brush stroke. The finishing touches make all the difference in your home, too. Have fun and get started at carolhouse.com slash room planner. With thousands of accessories in our three and a half acre showrooms. Get your picture perfect room and the lowest prices in the country at Carroll House. Because you like nice things. You know, of course, it's great to get outside and enjoy the warm weather, but when it's time to relax indoors, be sure your home stays cool with equipment and service from my friends at Aldon. 24-hour emergency service available at Aldon. It's their commitment to continue providing above and beyond HVAC service for all of their customers. They truly care about the air you breathe. Call them today at 314-567-5585 or on the web, aldon.com. That's A L dash don.com 314-567-5585 
Welcome back. It's the Real Monica Adams Show. And yes, normally in studio, but we are at home today. And Dr. Willie's actually in South Carolina. So I want to thank both Tina and Brian as they are moderating. People were asking where the different locations are. Brian's actually individually dropping the addresses for you. The easiest, though, is just to go to their website. And you'll see five locations on both sides, Missouri, and then there's one on the Illinois side, innovarehealth.com. If you have any questions for our doctor, we're talking about elder care today. And I mentioned, which is something that many people I'm sure don't want to talk about, but incontinence is a real thing. And, uh, you know, you can see the, the card here. Those were the days. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Comedy to get people to comedy on the front detail on the back of these cards. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's, that's a conversation starter. That's our attempt there. Right. A little baby uh, having an episode of incontinence. <laughs> but but then it happens again. We know, you, you've heard so it's not, a, not funny. It's, you, you've yeah, heard the whole it's thing. It's embarrassing. It's game you changing. Go from, you, go from, um, you go from diapers to diapers, right? From baby and then as your Oops. seniors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's important to get it under control. And there are, there are things we can do. We, we are not perfect with managing incontinence. Uh, by any means, but because um, some will have to have to be wear an undergarment. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's medicines. There's sometimes a surgery. The surgeries aren't great, but if they work for you, then then it's so important to to have control because this this problem causes people to retreat, right? To retreat to home, you know. So well, I know. Um, a lot of women, they just get embarrassed. I mean, they maybe they have to have a bladder tie up. I remember my mom. I mean, it's it was almost comical to us as kids, but then I realized, okay, it's not so funny. And she didn't really want to talk about it, but she would have to come running in the house. She'd be crossing her legs, doing the dance. And I got to get to the bathroom. I've got bladder issues. Women who have had children, they always say it, it's it's going to happen, and they get nervous. They get scared about it. They don't want to wear. You just said have to wear undergarments. They don't want to. They feel embarrassed by that. Yeah. Well, a couple of simple things. Um, and most, most everybody's heard of Kegel exercises, yes. right? Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, contracting those muscles down there that would help you stop the flow mm -hmm. um, and doing it as an exercise. And most people, uh, they work. They don't work for everybody, but for most people. And they're not, they're not doing them enough. So um, if they need to approach Kegel exercises like they would uh, an exercise in a gym using weights mm -hmm. um, or, uh, you know, even push-ups. You know, if you wanted to, if your goal was to be able to do, um, there's an 85-year-old friend down here who, who every time he meets a young person, he's challenged them to foot, to, to push-ups, an old Marine, you know. Um, but you couldn't do 100 push-ups tomorrow. I can barely do one. <laughs> uh, but you got to you got to get you got to train for it. So you're going to do uh, two push ups a day, uh, three times a day, four times a day. And then and then every few days, add one three or four times a day. So so have a and keep track of it. Keep a chart. This is how many times I'm contracting those muscles in a set. Mm -hmm. You know, OK, here's the spell. And you can do it while you're having, you know, I, I could do them right now. If I, well, you know, let, let you me can ask do you them this. anytime, but so the point is three or four sets gradually do more and more mm -hmm. so that uh, you're really getting those muscles in shape. But how early should we start doing that? I think that might be a, a, a be even better question because if we're waiting until it's, you know, already progressed and there's an issue, um, maybe that's a problem. Is it, should we, should we start that and be proactive? Yeah, um, I think that's a great idea because it does take some time. So um, rather than tell everybody to do Kegel exercises, maybe uh, the way to do it is the first hint that you're urgent or got a little a little tiny leak, you mm -hmm. know, start doing Kegel exercises. Okay. Now, I think that uh, you mentioned women who've had babies; they're taught they're taught them post postpartum. Uh, so don't forget them. Yeah, yeah, do them um, early. So. Another trick is to schedule time and to the restroom. Yes. Uh, you know, now wait, don't wait. figure out, figure out how long it is for your crisis. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, maybe 30 minutes prior to that time, try to schedule and, and go voluntarily empty. 
So those are some simple, simple tips in addition to medications and surgery, but, but we can, the surgery isn't great. It's not a surgery I send people to readily, but it, if we're desperate, we can. And there's been, there's bladder stimulators. There's all sorts of techniques. Uh, sometimes they work, sometimes not. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to get folks to, to schedule Kegel exercises as a foundation, and then we'll go beyond that when need to. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in. I know there's one, uh, Leona said, one of the times that you were on with Monica, you didn't seem overly impressed with everyone getting the newest COVID shot and RSV vaccine. Do you think it's important for seniors in their 70s and 80s to get these shots? Um, if if they're, not just because they're in their 70s or 80s, but if they're, they've got, uh, you know, serious medical problems like COPD, fragile congestive heart failure, if they're on immunosuppressing drugs for, say, rheumatoid arthritis or, or cancers, yeah, that's the subset, not okay. just by age. Right. Well, and that's one of the things you would discuss. This was a couple of weeks ago when we brought it up, and, it, and I love your viewpoint. I had a lot of people actually say, I'm so glad that Dr. Willie was so real and so authentic with us to say, yeah, you know, looking back at, uh, you know, things being pushed on everybody. You were saying the most important is your particular patients. They are older and you're worried about them because they had a lot of things going on and you wanted them to have it. But now you're looking at the current one and, you know, hopefully people aren't going to be going back to being um, pushed to do so, wearing masks, et cetera. We we mentioned we don't want to get into the he said, she said political side of everything, but um, I'm glad that you spoke out on that and and said as a physician what your viewpoints were. Yeah, it's, you know, uh, let's see, there's a population perspective in healthcare, population health, and I call it, uh, and and I I have that perspective, uh, in essence, for instance, I have 1,600. We have 1,600 patients in essence. We have another, well, probably 3,000 total that we care for mm-hmm. um, from that as a population. So we'll keep track of, we have we have data from our electronic record, from the claims of the health plan that help us say, oh, who might be in this trouble and we go find them. But I call it population health one patient at a time. You know, We still have to individualize what a recommendation is for every patient. Mm -hmm. It's always a risk benefit analysis. What's the risk of not doing a treatment? What's the risk of the treatment? What's the potential benefit? Weigh it out. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm painstakingly having that conversation with patients so they can understand, help, uh, help them make their decision. No, I do. I do lead. uh, If, if I, the, the more important I think an item, an issue is, the more aggressive I get mm-hmm. <laughs> if the patient is reluctant. Uh, I'll go so far. And that's, by the way, uh, we talked about daughters and sons earlier. I'll recruit them <laughs> to help motivate, yes. help motivate or remember often. Yes. Motivate or remember. So, uh, you know what? You just made me think of something. How important is it? And and I want you all, again, drop a comment in. Uh, Rena actually just said, I will be making an appointment. Thank you so much. So much. Awesome. Uh, Rena, what, what area Great. are you, by the way? Where will you be seeing Dr. Willie? I, I look forward for all of you, by the way, that that switch doctors. I'd love for you to come back and, and give us your, hey, what a complete change. I've never had anybody as an advocate for me. So Rena, excited to have you uh, and Dr. Willie connect. And Marilyn says, I love this Monday segment, Dr. Willie, so informative and thought provoking. Thank you to you both. Fantastic. Uh, the thing that it just brought up in my mind was how important is it for sons, daughters, maybe even older granddaughters, grandsons to go to the doctor appointment with their parent or grandparent? Because I think there's a lot of things that maybe people are not remembering and they go to the doctor, they hear things and we ask, Hey, what did the doctor say to you? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> right. There's a, yeah, it's actually been studied that, that, uh, there's a research project that's, that shows that patients forget, not just seniors, they forget 50% of what we teach them by the time they get to their automobile out in the parking lot. 50%. Yeah. Wow. And, and maybe another 50% by the time they get home. So they might only retain 25%. So hence we, we put a lot of, a lot of stuff in writing, but it's absolutely great to have, and we invite and encourage, um, you know, spouses and, and adult children, grandchildren to come mm-hmm. 
come help understand. It's, you know, healthcare is, uh, it's, it's technical. It's, it's, uh, there's a lot that could, uh, a lot to know, a lot, a lot that you could know. I mean, I could just tell people to sh- shut up and do what I tell them, but, but that doesn't work. No. You know, uh, I don't think I've ever been that big of a jerk, but it doesn't work. People, no. people uh, do what they understand. If they don't understand it, and I spend some time teaching, so they really understand what the issue is. And I like mechanical metaphors. Uh, uh, but having a sons, daughters, grandchildren in the room is golden because Absolutely. they and, and often they'll be taking notes. And then they 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 can have that to discuss later. It's superb. We encourage it. Well, Dr. Absolutely. Willie, it's because going in, first of all, the, like I have no problem going to the doctor. I want to make sure that I'm doing good. I'm very big on what you're mentioning, which is to be proactive. If there's something wrong, let's get at it early. But a lot of men, and this is why we say wives or partners, whatever, should be going along because, you know, I'll just use my husband, for example. You he he just saw you. So if I'm going to be real here, here, he he found out something, and he's like, "Oh, I hate getting older, Monica." And he just turned sixty, and he's like, "Why? Why did this have to happen?" I, I you know, and I said, "Why are you freaking out?" And there's a person who you work with regularly, who we saw at the event we were at yesterday. He's a urologist, and he literally said to him, "It was his son. It was Salim." And he's like, "Oh yeah, I just I went to the doctor, and, and now I'm going to have an MRI." And he's like. And he's like, calm down, calm down, Jim. And I said, see, well, you're, you're just, you're jumping off the roof already. <laughs> and it's just, yeah. something's changed a little bit. If we want to talk about that, I think it's, it's a good thing to bring up men regularly going in and looking at their PSA numbers. If something jumps so drastically, wouldn't you say normally maybe it's an infection, which did happen with Jim. He had some antibiotics. He came back down, but now he went to you and his number went back up again. And I'll just let you know, I'm being real, that he freaked out again. And he's like, oh my gosh, now what's wrong? And I said, he's, he'll find out. You've got to, yeah. you've got to go in, it's, right? It's, it's high probability it's infection again. And it wasn't that big of a jump. Uh, but he's just, you know, 60. Uh, tell him, tell, remind him there's no crying in baseball. <laughs> no, he's, he's a tough guy. So I can joke with him and a yes. good friend. I can joke yes. with him. There's no crying in baseball. Um, and, and remind him that middle age starts at 75, old age at 95. Right. He's just, he's just a kid. Exactly. Uh, but it's why we do want to be be careful about it. And, you know, MRI and evaluating prostate is a is a new phenomenon. Mm-hmm. They, they weren't good enough until recently. So, um, you know, in prostate biopsy, and he's had one, right. is, is 12 needles in a haystack. Uh, literally 12 needles in the prostate, random it's a pattern, you know, they, they do a pattern, but, but it's still, uh, so now we're getting closer to being able to target, um, a spot that looks unusual and the MRI is, uh, so we're getting better at that and it'll help us biopsy fewer. It'll help us, uh, operate on fewer Mm -hmm. because we'll have a better idea. If, Uh, if it's an infection again, if someone's looking at their, their PSA numbers and maybe it's four and I think his went to six, then it jumped to eight, went back down, came back to eight, what would continue to, um, kick that infection? Um, once, once infection gets in the prostate, it's, it's hard to clear it. And, uh, Ah. we, we, we gave him, uh, antibiotic for a month. Mm -hmm. Uh, We might need to do it for two months. Chronic prostatitis is a, is a phenomenon, a smoldering thing. The blood flow to the prostate isn't great. So it doesn't clear infection as well as other, some other organs like muscle has lots of blood flow and it's um, the immune system. Blood flow brings the immune system, gets rid of it. So, uh, but it's, it's likely also his prostate is big. You know, every man's, every man's prostate will, uh, if they live long enough, will get big it gets, it, it grows in time and can cause trouble mainly uh, with choking the flow. But the most common cause of a high PSA is a large prostate uh, infections, smoldering, uh, otherwise unrecognized infections on the list, pretty high on the list, uh, more common than, than cancer likely. Mm-hmm. Um, Rena, yeah, so he feel- Rena was saying that she's in the Creve Corps area, so she'll be coming to your new office, evidently. And this, and you hear this a lot. Uh, Rena was saying that uh, their doctor of thirty years retired during COVID. Interesting, but it's also, yeah. 
And I think, you know, it's really interesting because somebody asked me not during the show, they said, please tell me that if I come to Dr. Willie, that he's not going to retire in about a year or so. And I said, this man is never retiring. <laughs> oh, my wife. Doesn't want to hear that. <laughs> no, she, yeah. now that's why taking, taking more time off, uh, and being able to help, uh, see the grandkids, et cetera. No, I'm good for at least seven years. Uh, you know, you know, maybe, maybe 12. <laughs> Shh, don't tell the wife. <laughs> yeah. um, Tina just said, we just went with our mom and found out she was not taking her meds properly. That's a good point. There you go. That's yeah. And why not? Uh, maybe she's uh, too proud. Maybe she can't remember. Maybe she's not organized for it. Yep. Uh, maybe doesn't feel bad enough to, you know, some folks who, I don't, I feel fine. Why should I take this pill? Yes. And then I slow down and explain it again, but, but we go to great length, yep. you know, uh, uh, teach it, uh, write it. Um, if we have, if we have a hunch that we'll, our nurses will call. Um, we have a concept we call high risk list and uh, weekly, a short list of patients who, who have, uh, are at risk of their health falling into into uh, exacerbation, either because it's just a fragile illness or we perceive they're uh, reluctant or forgetful to take medicines, mm -hmm. we'll check on them, recruit the family, as you say. Uh, you know, you, I, I, I'm uh, taking a couple of prostate pills myself. And, you know, if I don't put them right someplace in my face, I'll forget them, mm -hmm. you know, and just two pills, right? And I can take them both at the same time. Oh. So it's, if you're on four or five, it's really difficult and you got to take them two or three times a day. Yes. So, so we give out these medicine dispensing boxes, you know, uh, it's got four slots for each day. You can take the day out and take it with you. Right. We give those away to, to try to help uh, folks keep track of pills. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm an internist. So uh, medication is one of the, one of the, one of the most common arrows in my quiver, Right. But uh, I am a minimalist and always, always reviewing to try to say, OK, do we still need it? Uh, you know, is the condition better? Is there another way? Mm -hmm. Always reanalyzing. Absolutely. But keeping track of those medicines, doing them, doing them correctly is really important. Well, yeah. everyone, again, if you have a physician that you feel is not an advocate for you, this is why we bring Dr. Willie on each Monday. And if you're new to the show and you didn't realize, yes, we do this. Ask the doctor segment on Medical Mondays. And it doesn't matter where Dr. Willie is, as he just did for us. He's uh, taking some time. I want you to get back and spend some time with your wife. So I'm going to I'm gonna wrap up. InnoverHealth.com is how you will find out more information. Rena, I'm excited for you to meet Dr. Willie. Willie. And Donna evidently says that her doctor retired as well. So that's it. If you're looking for a new so, physician. Monica, yes. Can we tell Rena to, to mention that, that we, she and I met on this program yeah. and to say that to my staff? Absolutely. Rena, please do so. Donna, if you go as well, anybody else, let them know that you found out about Dr. Willie uh, through the Real Monica Adams show. Uh, we'll, looking we'll forward to the double red carpet. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. VIP treatment just because you're part of the show. I love it. Well, Dr. Willie, yeah. thank you again for taking time right. out of your your time off. Oh, Rena just said, yes, you will. Um, so fantastic. Thank you so much again. It's InnoverHealth.com. I'm going to actually have you learn a little bit more about them here in just a second. But thank you. And I look forward to seeing you next Monday. Are you in studio next Monday? Are you back? Yes, okay. yeah, I'm back. Okay. And we'll find out what Dr. Willie wants to talk about. And if there's ever topics that you want us to discuss, feel free to email me. Let me give you my email address here. It's info at the real .com. That way I can get some of these questions to Dr. Willie in advance. Thank you so much, my friend. Great. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Think about this. When's the last time you called your doctor at two o'clock in the morning and he actually answered? Well, at Innovare Health Advocates, their patients are special. Their doctors, nurse practitioners, their care team care deeply about your health, your family, your work, and even your pet. Their clinicians are accessible and they lead your care in and out of the hospital. In fact, Dr. Charles Willie offers his cell phone number to his patients to ensure they can intervene early in your illness. They can provide 
provide care above and beyond, offering lab, x-ray, echocardiogram, and other treatments in their office. Innovare Health Advocates with five locations on both sides of the river. Check them out, InnovareHealth.com. It's time to talk about my friend Kathy Kilo Peterson, State Farm agent extraordinaire. KKilo.com is the website you can go to. 636 561 6460. And you want to talk about being an advocate for someone. That is what Kathy does for you. Takes care of you. Like in the hardest times when you're, there's storms that come through. And then what happens to your car, to your home? You need supplemental insurance. You want to take care of you know, everyone in. In your home on every level. They're there for you. And the easiest thing is just call 636-561-6460 and say, I want to get a free quote. She will give you a $25 gift card just for doing that. I mean, come on, what, how, how easy is that? And if you've got, just like we were talking about with the doctor, if you have an agent that you're frustrated with that is not taking care of you, I don't know why you would stay with them. It's the easiest thing to say, yeah, I've been hearing about Kathy Kilo Peterson. I actually heard her story. What an incredible human being, right? It's that kind of thing. When I want to give my business to someone, it is who are they as a real person? And that's one of the things I talked about with my sponsors. And it has to do with, I want you to be on my show. I want people to know about you. So she's there for you. Kathy Kilo Peterson, again, kkilo.com. I hope you enjoyed that segment. I love having Dr. Willie on, really enjoyed that one about our elderly. And at some point, we're all going to get there. And don't we hope that someone is there to take care of us? I know I definitely do. And it takes a team, an entire family to do so. Okay, I told you I'm pretty excited about this. If you do not know, and you haven't bought your tickets yet, November 4th, Clayton Winehouse from 6 to 8 p.m. I'm going to tell you right now, you don't want to be anywhere else on November 4th. Why? Because you're going to have incredible food. You're going to have wine tastings. We're going to have whiskey tastings. We're going to have a little motivational speaking. And then we're going to have a live and a silent auction. And I have been running through some of the items that we have for that night. Let me just run through the, the kind of the beginning of where it all started. We've got a week stay, and this is coming from myself and Jim. We have a week stay for you at Grand Solmar Lands End in Cabo San Lucas, one of the most incredible resorts that's in Cabo. Why do I say that? There's a lot of real high-end ones, but they're up in the San Jose del Cabo area, or they're wrapped around in the Pacific Ocean more in the desert area. Grand Solmar Lands End is right there. If you've ever been to Cabo or everybody's seen pictures, I'm sure, of Cabo, and you have that beautiful arch, El Arco. Well, Grand Solmar Lands End is right there. As soon as you come around from the Sea of Cortez side, and a lot of people will take a water taxi, they'll go out on those fun party boats. They'll wrap around by the arch, and then right there is this beautiful resort called Grand Solmar Lands End. And then right next to that is a sister resort. And then around on the desert side, they have uh, Rancho San Lucas, which is another part of their property. Well, we are going to give away for whoever's the winning bidder one week for you to stay at Grand Solmar Lands End. And here's the great thing about it a lot of you are going to go on vacation, you get online. If you went online right now and you were like, oh, wow, look at this place. I'll actually have uh, Brian and Tina drop Grand Solmar Lands End link so you can see where you would stay. You would buy that right now and it's going to cost 4000 or more for you to stay for you and three others. Four people can stay in the resort. That's what Jim and I are donating. So 100% of the proceeds from the live auction and the silent auction are going to our friends at Yuppie Puppies Forever Rescue. Yes, they have incredible locations to do grooming and then boarding, right? So if you need a, you need a place for your dog to do just that, I want you to think of them but it's the rescue aspect that I really wanted to help out. So Jessica and her team, they have been rescuing and rescuing. I understand that they just got in some Shiba Inus. A lot of you know that I have, actually, this is my third that I've rescued. So Opus is our little Shiba and he is going to be five in December. She just got in three, I think, and they might, might, unless they get adopted beforehand, they may be at the event. So yes, some of the dogs will be at the event on November 4th. So food, 
from Trattoria Marsala. Have you seen the, the package, the story that we did on Trattoria? I hope so. Uh, if not, go back on YouTube because remember, we're always on YouTube and on Facebook and you can watch that. It's the Comarec family and the storied history, almost 30 years at their location that they have. But their family is linked into the Slays, which anybody who knows anything about the, the restaurant scene, um, that's a storied history of a storied family in the restaurateurs way back into the early 1900s. And it's fun to listen to that story and then see the incredible food. Well, I just got the rundown of what we're going to have that night. Are you ready for this? Let me bring this up. We are going to have their famous homemade beef and pork toasted ravioli with fresh tomato sauce, chicken spadini. It's aromatic breadcrumbs, extra virgin olive oil, Parmesan lemon, and a balsamic glaze. You're going to get all of this. Miniature meatballs in the San Marzano tomato sauce, grilled beef tenderloin sliders on toasted cheese garlic bread, an assorted grilled vegetable platter with salsa verde, and an antipasto platter that has prosciutto, salami, olives, grano padano, and fontina. All of that. Okay. That's the food aspect. My mouth is watering. That's the food aspect that'll be there that night. The wine and the whiskey tastings. So you'll have an opportunity to taste different ones and then say, oh my gosh, I really love this. That's the, that's the great thing about tastings is that so you're not just going, well, I don't know, maybe I'll buy that bottle. And then you open the bottle and you hate it. So do a little tasting, then go with whatever friends you have. If you've got one person you're bringing or you've got a few, you've got some couples that are coming that night, you can enjoy that food I just mentioned have your bottle of wine or some whiskey, have a, have, you know, buy it by the glass. And then you get an opportunity for the auction items. Now that I just told you about the Grand Solmar one. We also have a Stan Musial baseball in glass donated by my friend, Doug Allison. Thank you so much for that. We have mm, a soccer package from St. Louis City SC. I am in works with that. They said, yes, we want to donate. Uh, we have a one month membership from two different people to BioFit, a whole new way of training, maybe 20, 30 minutes, maybe once or twice a week. And it is all out effort. Like every single thing you do is an all out max. Um, We've got a gift certificate to Golden Nails Salon in Fenton. And that is where I go, by the way, to get my nails done. Yada and all the girls there. I just fell in love with them. So they're they're donating something. We have a, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So from Defiance Ridge, which is in Augusta, we're going to have for eight people, a reserve tasting with the owner, Chuck Gillantine from Defiance Ridge. Also, that includes a big charcuterie board with the man himself. And then there's going to be a harvest dinner for two, those fall harvest dinners that he has. I mean, you want to talk about mouthwatering. He's donating that as well. And then the big thing came in also from Kathy Kilo Peterson. That's kind of still in the works. Kathy is donating an, a weekend stay at her kind of getaway in Pacific, which is this cool cabin. And then they're going to have... There's a few different choices actually we're going to give you. You could have this whole Italian theme. Maybe you have a Spanish theme. Maybe you have more of a picnic aspect, but it's this high-end chef that's going to prepare it for you. You're going to have that for the weekend. Um, <laughs> Just think it's super, super cool, but not just for two people. Um, I think it's for four, maybe. Let me look. So if you, by the way, as I'm talking, if you have anything that you would like to donate, because again, we're given 100% of the proceeds. If you have anything that you would like to donate, please let me know and send me an email. Again, it's info at the real Monica Adams .com. If you would like to donate anything for the silent auction or the live auction, uh, please let me know that I would like to get that by the week's end, probably by Friday, just so that we can gather everything up. Cause uh, again, it's, it's, <laughs> it's going to be difficult. Um, as we are doing this kind of on a skeleton crew. Uh, so Kathy, thank you so much for your donation. Defiance Ridge, thank you so much for your donation. My husband, thank you for giving up a week in Cabo. Uh, Doug Allison, thank you for your donation. St. Louis City SC, I'm working on, oh, the Reed Low. Reed and I have been talking, you know, former St. Louis Blue enforcer, Reed Low. Reed said that he is going to donate a uh, Opolo wine flight. He said it's incredible wine. So he is actually involved in a, um, in a beverage industry. And so I'm also talking with Bruce Affleck 
former St. Louis Blue. Bruce and I talked about something that we can get donated from the St. Louis Blues since he handles the alumni aspect. So I'll be following back up with Bruce today. Um, he did say, let me check on what we can do. So some of these are just kind of coming together. I hope they come together in time for the event on November 4th. If not, we'll be gathering items for another event because we'll be sprinkling these in as we head into 2024. Okay, Kathy just said it's for six people. Six people for the getaway that she has in uh, in the Pacific area. Okay, then this one just got secured. Are you ready for this? And I, I, I was like, you sure you want to do all of that? So yesterday we had a chance to spend some time with David and Jerry Hoffman. You know, the Hoffman name in in also in the Augusta area. So she said, how about see Missouri's first AVA, like a VIP? It's a getaway package for two couples. Go with me on this. Stay with me here. A two-night stay in a couple's choice of a cottage or a cabin. If you haven't been into Augusta lately, you've got to see all the little B&Bs and things that you can stay at. They have cottages and cabins from the Hoffman Guest Collection. You can check it out if you want to go to the uh, Hoffman website. Wine tasting and charcuterie, not at one, but at each of the Hoffman wineries, Augusta Winery, Balducci Winery, Montel Winery, and Mount Pleasant Winery, you get a private limo transport between the wineries. This is for four of you, two couples. And then, I'm not done, brunch, lunch, or a sunset dinner cruise aboard the fabulous Miss Augusta. Still not done. Cruise the Katy Trail on regular bikes or e-bikes. And then lunch or dinner at the White House Cafe, a gator tour of the vineyards at Missouri's Countryside, and two $200 gift cards from the uh, Augusta Clothing Company, which is a beautiful boutique that is owned by the Hoffmans. Jerry actually runs that. She also wants to do a private behind-the-scenes tour of the wine production and cellars. And then I went to bed and she thought, well, let's give more. She wants to add one case of wine for each couple to take home. Likely, she says, doing six red and six white. And hey, maybe we should throw in some branded winery glasses for each package as well. So we're putting all that together. That is quite a package. So come ready to get that, maybe with a, a few friends, and to give to Yuppie Puppies Forever Rescue. So thank you, by the way, to Jerry and David Hoffman for that. Everyone that has come forward, and I, I said, there's still a lot of tricks that we're pulling, a lot of contacts that I've made over the last 30 years that I am reaching out to saying, hey, can, can you donate something? I've got a goal in mind. First it was, um, you know, we'll do a little silent auction, a little live auction. And then I was like, no, let's go big. Let's go big or go home. And again, there's some of these that if they come in a little later, we will hang on to them for another event that we might be able to have before the end of the year. If not, we will do it at the beginning of the year. Right, Tina? Great no go donations to bid on, she said. May have to up my budget for the evening. <laughs> Good morning, Moses. How are you? It is a fantastic new day. Kathy and Selmo, good morning. And anybody else that I missed, I want to make sure I always say hi to each and every one of you. Yeah, Brian, it is a five-star resort. So Brian um, has been putting in for you some of the links. Grand Solmar is in there now. You can check out where you would go to Cabo. Again, look at anything with regards to Defiance Ridge and Augusta. Look at the Hoffman properties. I just love what is coming forward and I cannot wait. I told Jim, I was like, I think I want that one. So I might be getting together. Tina and Brian, maybe we need to do that one together. I might be bidding on that. We'll see how far I can go. I actually gave to the uh, Friends of St. Louis University Liver Center the other night. Um, <laughs> I was on stage auctioneering and all of a sudden I was like, um, no one else wants to go higher. Okay. How about me? And then it was me and this guy back and forth and we ended up getting it. So it's for four to see a St. Louis Cardinals game and some really good seats next season. And Jim's like, what are you doing? And I said, well, if you don't want to go, it's going to be a girl's day out evidently. And he's like, all right, good. Go, go do a girl's day out. I love to give to charities. I think it is the most, I mean, think about it. It is what? It's October 23rd. We've got Christmas right around the corner. You've got just birthdays all throughout the year. Or the thing that I love the most is just because you thought of somebody just because. So when you go to auctions, think about that. I think sometimes people will do another trip around and look at the auction items when they realize, oh, that's true. Yes. I probably need to think of, um, you know, kids, 
uh, people of all ages, when you see these baskets, think of somebody that may have just told you they got pregnant. Oh, there's a baby. There's, you know, cause you might go, well, I'm not having a baby. I don't have babies in the family, but what about friends that all of a sudden say that they're having a baby or you've got family members. That's the reason why you try to either buy the raffle tickets like they did on Friday. You drop them into the raffle. We actually, I said, Jim, are you, are you happy? We bought the live auction item, but then we won in the raffle, the, uh, the trip to the Hill. So all these gift, gift cards to the Hill and, and then different Italian stuff. I was like, see, it, it all worked out for the best, but that's what I love is go to these auctions and think that way. Don't look around and go, Oh, I don't really need that. But what if somebody else does, or you want to gift it to somebody else? You want, you want to have a good time. Brian says, if I wear a kilt, can I be invited? Of course, my brother has a kilt because in our lineage in our, in our DNA and in our uh, genealogy, we have uh, Irish background. We've got Scotch Irish. Uh, and now he's, he's got a kilt that he wears, he goes to these events. Of course, you can wear whatever you want uh, and run around Augusta if we do that. We can split that one. All right, let's see how much I we've got some we've got some big people that are coming that I know are willing to give. They, they are so philanthropic, but at the same time, so generous with their heart. And I hope that you come ready to raise big funds. Kathleen says, thank you for your support of you, you bet of the friends of the St. Louis University Liver Center. Fun time watching you bid and Jim's reaction. Kathleen was sitting at the table with us. It was a good time. And Kathleen, by the way, she's the one that I knew she and Lisa Duff and another friend, um, Lori Milan, they're all coming to the November 4th. They bought their tickets already. Um, if we haven't dropped it in already, the easiest way to purchase tickets, tell your family and friends, go to my website. It's the real monicaadams.com. Click on what's new and boom, there it is an evening with the real Monica Adams and you can purchase your tickets. I want you to do so. Don't wait to the last second. I think we have maybe 25 tickets left. Maybe. I didn't look this morning, but that's going to go quick. So you've got two weeks before the big event. You are going to go out anyway that weekend, I can guarantee. So why wait to the last second and say, oh, where do you want to go to dinner? No, you get this incredible food from Trattoria Marsala. You get wine, you get whiskey. If you don't drink, you can have a mocktail that I'm sure we can make up for you or just having water or soda, whatever. We can take care of you guaranteed and then just laugh with friends, like-minded people who want more for their life, right? More positivity. And and then we're going to have fun with the auction. We're going to raise some big money. Uh, yeah, again, Brian just said these would be incredible holiday gifts. I get you can bid on a gift and give it to someone for a birthday holiday just because exactly win, win, win across the board. All right. We always wrap up the mobile version with the blueprint for value, right? Jeff Kozatek. If you have not been following along, we are getting very near the end of that particular book. 52 Habits to Discover and Strengthen Your Personal Worth. We're into the final chapter, by the way, which is called Encourage. And we read number 40. We only have 11 left. And then I'm going to turn over to a new book. So again, the blueprint for value. What is it? We'll tell you in a break. Hi, it's Monica Adams. Thank you so much for following along with The Real Monica Adams Show since we launched back in March. But I wanted to let you know there's so much more that I could do with you, your business, your corporation. Did you know that I'm a motivational speaker all around the world, as well as an MC and an auctioneer? So if you have an event, maybe a nonprofit organization, and you want to book me, just shoot me an email, info at therealmonicaadams.com. Personal training, life coaching, and styling as well. Info at therealmonicaadams.com. Invita Health and Wellness, where you can feel your best both inside and out. Invita isn't your typical med spa. They're a multi-specialty medical spa and wellness center serving St. Louis and its surrounding areas. They have ketamine for mental health and pain, IV therapy, medical weight loss, and aesthetics treatments. As board-certified anesthesia providers, Invita can ensure that their advanced treatments are provided safely with minimal to no pain. So let Invita take care of you. Call 314-394-0990. 950 to book an appointment or online in Vita health and wellness.com. All right, welcome back. It's time to wrap up the blueprint for value. We're on number 41 and it's not me. How many of you have said it's not me. There's actually a song, right? Isn't it shaggy? It wasn't me. <laughs> if you know, you know, 
Rejection can be overwhelming. It can appear as an affirmation of personal worthlessness and a reason to quit. It's not always about you. Your offer of help might be ignored. You might not get the new job. You may face criticism or abuse. Rejection can come as a roaring hurricane or a slow leak but it does not automatically mean that it's your fault. In fact, it can come from someone else's past, preference, or current situation. It's not always your fault. Actors can be rejected because they remind the producer of an ex or the casting director couldn't wait to get to the bathroom. Maybe the director got distracted and wasn't paying attention or... The producers simply had something else on their mind. Often the rejection an actor faces has nothing to do with his or her talent. Don't assume blame, burden, guilt, or responsibility that isn't yours. So the takeaway from that is it's not always personal. Look around and see what else might be going on, right? Don't pass the buck on that one. Oh, we've got affirmations coming up. Speaking of books, the Jewish Book Festival is coming to town. And I know my sister-in-law and I think three of my clients have bought this book because I'm going to be interviewing her on Wednesday. It's not going to be live. We'll be recording it, but you'll see a quick turnaround on that one because we want to get it on before the festival. Rebecca Minkoff, you want to add new books to your collection? Rebecca Minkoff, it's called Fearless, The New Rules for Unlocking Creativity, Courage, and Success. I am almost through the book. I'm on page 132. I think there's like 100 and... 90 maybe pages to this one, uh, a quick read or 200, 200 pages. Fearless by Rebecca Minkoff. Very well known if you know fashion in the fashion industry. And then we're going to be talking with Martin Fletcher. Do you know who Martin is? I think if you watch NBC, National Jewish Book Award winner. And the foreword in this book is by Tom Brokaw. Teachers, the ones I can't forget. Tom Brokaw talks about how incredible this is a war correspondent, and he's actually working with NBC right now with everything that's going on uh, in Gaza with regards to Hamas, uh, Israel. And I believe two of his family members had been hostage and they were released. So there's a lot to talk about. We're going to talk about the book, but we'll also talk about what is currently uh, ongoing. So if you have any questions for me to pass along to Martin, please let me know. Shoot me an email. Uh, again, info at therealmonicaadams.com. I'll put that back up on the screen for you. If you haven't heard it enough, that's my email. That's how you reach out to me. That's how you tell me topics. That's how you tell me about guests you would like for us to have on the show. Again, I want you to play a role in the show as much as possible and be able to, to get out of it what you want. And I also, coming up in the first week of moment, uh, November, the first Monday, we'll be interviewing this incredible lady who I spoke with at a care conference in Springfield, Illinois, about a month ago. Her name is Loretta Ann Woodward Vaney, and it is called Being My Mom's Mom, which I know Dr. Willie would probably love this book. It's a journey through dementia from a daughter's perspective. She's the Lego lady. You might know that. You might want to look her up. She and I met again at the Velocity Conference, loved being able to hear what she had to say. And I said, I've got to have you on my show. So a lot of great things coming up uh, very, very soon. Dr. Richard Lehman coming back on the show. Great sports medicine. He used to be the doctor for the St. Louis Blues. Very tied into high-end athletes and celebrities, actors, actresses. But he loves to take care of just the everyday walking around you, right? Uh, I thought he was going to retire, but he's like, ah, nope, back into it. Just like Dr. Willie, they can't give it up. They're phenomenal physicians. I wouldn't trust any part of my body from a sports medicine aspect to anyone else. He is truly the best doctor ever. I had my shoulder surgery with him back when I was in my early 20s. And the man is truly a miracle worker. And I've had so many of my clients that have gone to Dr. Willie and Dr. Lehman over the years, and they will say the same thing. They just love them both. Really, truly standouts in their field. Well, everybody, thank you so much for being a part of the show today. I hope you enjoyed the part with uh, Dr. Charles Willie. Again, on Mondays, it's Ask the Doctor on Medical Mondays, so be sure to give me your questions that you want me to uh, pass along to the doctor. And if you can do them earlier, we'll give him a little time uh, to be able to think about some of the things or research a little bit more if it's something that he hasn't uh, had a chance to research. I don't want to just throw it on him at the last second. So think about those all throughout the week. Pass those along to me. Let me know. And then he'll be back on with us in studio on Monday. We are rescheduling Brock and Brittany Wilson. I hope they can come in next week. If not, we'll get them on the docket very soon from Force Performance. We'll talk about working out 
during pregnancy. We'll talk about depression and almost wanting to take your life thinking that it's all over. And then all of a sudden you get a second chance and you have this beautiful life that suddenly is right there in, in front of you. That's what happened to her husband. So many things, believing in, this, in yourself. And also, I love this part, instead of always showing the beautiful side of everything, the perfect, the perfection, right, that they show on social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, X, whatever. I love the fact that he showed failure and we need to see those real aspects because people see, oh, look at the beautiful people. They have nothing going wrong. That's not true. We were going to talk about all that today. So now it's been rescheduled. I'm getting confirmation. I'll let you know if that's going to come up <clears throat> on Monday. So some great shows on tap, but again, other ones that can be in the future, all because you want to see them. That's how we started, by the way, for the first three months. It was you letting me know about topics that you wanted us to cover. So don't forget to do that. Info at therealmonicaadams.com for anything. That's your way of finding out how I can do a show for you. So just let us know. Have a beautiful day. Remember, go out. Enjoy the weather, get some vitamin D, get some exercise in and be anything you want to be in the world. But before you're anything, don't forget to be kind. God bless you all.